the major DOS. Allow yourself time in each day to dream, desire, imagine, intend, want, and time to flow energy to them all, flow energy to them all, flow energy to them all. Whenever you're feeling less than good, stop, regain your balance, and find a way to feel a little better, then a little better, then still a little better. Every feel better is a raise in vibration. Use everything you know to flip switch out of negative focus into any kind of warm fuzzy. Make more statements in every day about what you want, and why, big things, little things, nonsensical things. The more wants you have, and the more you get excited about them, the more dramatically your energy will flow. Make more decisions in every day, about your mood, your safety, your work, your relationships, your parking places, your shopping. As with wands, decisions summon the energy and provide outlets. Ask yourself constantly, how am I flowing my energy? How am I flowing my energy? Give more time to your subject and get off the fact that it hasn't happened yet. It's forming, it's happening, it's on its way. Believe it. Talk tenderly to yourself every day. Out loud. Watch for clues that things are happening, for concurrent events, for synchronicity. Keep writing outrageous news scripts. Pay attention to how you're feeling. Replace your things to do list with a things to feel list. Find new ways to feel a little better every day. Be creative. Be inventive. Be outrageous. Pat yourself on the back for every perceived obstacle you've created. Without them, you cannot know what you want. Think only about what you want, instead of the lack of it. Accept once and for all that you are the creator of your experience. Start your day with the intent to look for positive aspects about everything and everybody. Then intend to find them. Ignore how someone else is flowing their energy and pay attention to your own, only your own. Remember that nothing, nothing, is more important than feeling good, even if it's just feeling better. Use your want of the month like a lifesaver, it is. Start small to flip switch from a negative to positive vibration. Soon that small thought will gain the momentum necessary to launch you into a major feel good. Expect your wants. Expect them. Learn to turn on at will, no matter how you choose to do it. When you turn on, you open your valve, you lower your resistance, you vibrate positively, you attract positively. Stay alert to how you are feeling, and the rest will be easy. Stay out of the past, it doesn't exist. Become aware of the feeling tones you roam around with all day long, from dawn to lights out. Stay awake. Become aware. Live in the feeling place of your want every day. Or just live in feel good and watch how fast your wants come. If you wake up feeling great, pump it. If you wake up feeling lousy, change it. Calm down, relax, soften up, get natural, be closer to you. Ferret out that beautiful sweetness deep within you. Find it, feel it, allow it, and fan it. Male or female, we all have it. Listen for your guidance, and then act, never, never, never act before. Follow your impulses, that's your guidance. Learn to look at contrast without having to cross the line into negative resistance. Practice flowing appreciation to street signs, brick buildings, red lights, or other outdoor objects as you're driving. Be aware of the very real obstacles you're creating with your resistance to your source energy. If all else fails, smile a phony smile. Just cracking your face moves your vibrations up. If something's bugging you, get over it. It's your ship. You can't screw this up. You can't make a mistake or a wrong decision. It's impossible. In fact, you never have made a mistake, you only invited lessons to help you get out of vibrating negatively. Now you know. This whole business of creating our lives by flowing energies of a higher frequency than what we've been living is incredibly new for all of us. It's a gargantuan about face, a momentous new orientation to life. So be gentle with yourself, take it easy, play with the energies, become curious, laugh more, smile more, experiment.
See how long you can hold a buzz or how fast you can turn it on. Find out what gives you joy, then do it. Play with your wants. Play with it all, but remember, this is all very, very new, so please, please, please don't get discouraged. We're like toddlers on training wheels just learning to maneuver in our new world. Everything in that toddler says, get up and go. So it does, again, and again, and again, no matter how many times the tumbles may come. That's called passion, and practice. Practice is what this new way of thinking and being is all about. It has to be, it's too new, too foreign. Right now, this concept is just so many words on paper that may sound enticing, but the proof is in the pudding. And that means practice. Practice flowing the energy. Practice flowing it to your wants, or practice just flowing it. Learn to turn it on at will, in any situation. Wherever you are, whomever you're with, whatever's happening. You control your life by controlling your reactions to life. So practice. After you get through with your 30 days, design your own new program to keep the interest jacked up. Maybe a week of feeling gratitude. Then maybe a week of feeling wonder about everything, or reverence, or awe, or excitement. Then maybe a week of feeling amusement, a week of being enthusiastic, a week of being in love, a week of feeling God, it's good to be alive, no matter what is happening around you. Practice in the oddball moments while you're sitting on the john, disciplining your children, doing your income tax, holding a board meeting, or working on the production line. What's so new to us is grappling with this seemingly backwards concept that real life is about feeling first and performing second. That's just utterly backwards to us. Only practice will bring the fruits of that outrageous new concept into being. Yes. Life may get bumpier for a time because you've increased your desire, so you've increased your magnetic energies. But with that desire comes genuine life. So learn to feel, 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 good or bad, positive or negative. If a feeling ultimately opens the doors to the treasures of the universe, how bad can it be? If you want it enough, you'll learn to feel it. Then learn to feel good, no matter what. This whole approach has to be conscious, deliberate. Knee-jerk responses have to go out the window. If you want to change the conditions of your life, you have to change your vibrations, so practice until you can change them in a blink. If you're not feeling warm fuzzies, you're either flatlining or feeling tacky. Either way, you're sending out negative vibrations. If you have a problem, talk it out to yourself for 10 or 15 minutes every day. Explore it out loud until you've found out what's troubling you and you've talked it down. Every time you do that, you permanently leave a little more resistance behind until finally you've dumped enough to allow your vibrations, and your experience exclamation mark to change. Just remember, the way you think is the way you feel, and the way you feel is the way you vibrate, and the way you vibrate is the way you attract. So if you want it, feel it, feel it. Feel it till it's a warm fuzzy. If you can feel it, you can have it. You can have anything you want if you can feel it first. The world can be your oyster. You have only to give your attention to what's coming instead of what's not here. Once you are comfortable doing that, by the powers that be and the power you are, you will begin to live the life you came here to live. You will be fulfilling your reason for being. It's all energy. That's all this world and universe are. You can either be its master or its victim. By learning to control the tenor and flow of your electromagnetic energy, you are learning to take control of your own destiny, steering your ship wherever you desire. When storms come, you know what created them and what to do. You are in absolute control, headed toward reaping the sumptuous rewards of a life that is, to the fullest extent of its possibilities at long last being lived. Appendix Much of what is written in this book will test one's intellect and logic to the fullest extent. Magnetize events? Nonsense. Prevent good times and create bad times? Get real. For those who find themselves challenged in that regard, as I once was, you may find this fun energy-proving do-it-yourself kid a help. 
get two wire coat hangers and cut an L out of each one, about 12 inches long for the main part, and about 5 inches for the handle. Cut a plastic straw to go around the handle so that they'll swing easily, then once you have the straw in place, bend the bottom of the handle up to hold the straw in place. They'll swing without the straw, but not as freely. Now you have a pair of what I call woo-woo wands. Hold the wands loosely out in front of you as if you were pointing a gun. Keep them about chest high and about 10 inches from your body. They flap all over the place at first, in response to your energy, so give them a few moments to settle down and stop wobbling. Once they've settled down, you're ready to play. With your eyes straight ahead, recall with feeling some very unpleasant event from your past. Depending on the intensity of your emotions surrounding that event, the wands will either stay straight ahead, weak intensity, or will point inward, tip to tip. The wands are following the electromagnetic bands around your body which have contracted as a result of the negative frequency generated by your unpleasant thought and emotions. Now make your frequencies turn positive by thinking about something incredibly wonderful, or loving, or joyous. Or focus on one of your children, or a pet, and literally flood them with love. The wands will now expand outward quite rapidly as your energy field expands in answer to your positive energy flow. To demonstrate how energy follows thought, focus your attention on an object to your far left or right, and watch the wands follow your thought. Or begin focusing on your expanded self, your guidance and watch them spread apart in reaction to the enormous increase in energy such emotional thought creates. The more you play with this, the more adept you'll become at feeling the vibrational shift that takes place within you as you change from one frequency to another. Thank for seeing my video and don't forget like and share for support my channel.